Ciao. Hello my Virgo friends. I've decided to do a snapshot today and I'm just going to wing it and try something different. I've got a deck here that's kind of fallen together. It's my angel cards and the kitchen tarot. I'm really kind of enjoying it so I'm going to leave it that way. Let's do a quick snapshot, see whatever energy comes up. This is a general reading, okay? And it's going to be short, not a long video. All right, see what we got. Thank you for like, sharing, and subscribing. I appreciate it when you do. It helps the videos move up in the search categories on YouTube. And uh, it looks like Capricorn might be wanting to beat you guys out this this uh, month for extra readings. So I guess we'll have to see what happens. All right, see what we got going on for my Virgo friends. My Virgos. We have the timer, the kitchen timer. This is the hanged one, the hanged man. So it's about taking the time to let things percolate and to grow, to let things cook, and to come to fruition. It's about a miracle worker waiting for miracles to be formed in the span of something that you never would have imagined coming to fruition. And then we have, I am the angel of marriage. And I'm assisting you right now. So if you're married or in a relationship, this will really resonate with you. This could be about a marriage and business. This could be if you want to be married at some point in time. Perhaps it's about being in hanged man mode and putting all of those things together. You've put the ingredients together. It's just about a waiting period to gain clarity from the divine while you let the divine work in the background to bake all of this goodness into fruition. Beautiful. All right, let's see what we got here for you guys. My Virgos, quick snapshot. We got the truth coming in. Someone who's cutting out the BS. Someone who's sitting there trying to find fair and just balance in decisions. A decision the divine has brought forward and you're trying to find out where the truth lies in it. How to move forward with it. Cutting out the BS, saying, you know what, I just... I can't take it anymore. I don't know if I can be in hangman mode anymore, divine. It feels like forever I've been in hangman mode trying to find clarity on things. Use your intuition. The divine's asking you to go into clarity. Use your intuition. Accept opportunities that come into your life. Search them out. Don't say no to opportunities, even though you're kind of in a hanged man state. Because there is a very happy outcome coming here. Possibly dealing with... A, woof, that scared me. The door closed. <laughs> dealing with a Leo personality in some way, shape, or form. I have quite a few Leos in my life. You're very conflicted about what to do here. There could be a celebration that ensues. But you're holding on very tightly to something. Maybe you're holding on to this conflictedness and not letting go. Because it's the only thing you have left that reminds you of the last phase you were in. All right, let's see what we got going here in the hangman mode. The kitchen timer is something. The divine is cooking something. It's going to be good. Oh, yeah. The divine doesn't put you in timer mode. <laughs> you don't go into timer mode and work on all that stuff in the kitchen if it's not going to be good. You're waiting to move forward. You're like, okay, is it time yet? No, it's like when you're baking a cake, right? It's like, oh, it smells so good. Oh, this is going to be so great. Is it time yet? No. Nope. Oh, time's up. The dinger goes on the oven and it's like, dang, it's ready. And then you go over there and realize it's still liquidy and it still needs time. And you're like, ah, all up in your head about it. Not sure what to do. It takes time to bake beauty and yumminess, my friends. All this yumminess we seek in life. The celebrations, the happy outcomes. It takes time. It takes learning. It takes growing. It takes time to learn how to cook, how to grow something wonderful to even put in a pan if you want to grow your own stuff. Like, it takes a lot of time. 
maybe it's something you've put on the back burner and it's been in storage and it needs to come out so you can have a creative new way of looking at things creative new way of understanding the balance that happens between the shadow side and the light side a creative new way of looking at how to take and fill this beautiful cup brand new cup the divine's given you to fill however you choose however you choose with whatever love you choose to fill it with let's see what this marriage thing is about perhaps someone really does want to have marriage in their life look at that hanged man mode again Y'all could be dealing with a Pisces, a Cancer, a Leo, Capricorn. Everybody's really kind of here. Sagittarius, even. Why am I? Yeah, I guess Sagittarius. Pisces. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah, it could be any sign. Anyway, someone might really want to get married, but they're in hanged man mode about it, perhaps. Maybe they'd love to have that commitment, but there's been a brief pause. This could be about a, a relationship, too. There's been a brief pause, and it's freaking you out. Things are unclear. Not sure what to do. Look at this, how the moon and the sun card are right across from each other, just like what we're going to experience here pretty soon tomorrow and the next day and I see the wheel of fortune spinning in your favor here where this is concerned is someone going to come and ask you to marry them and it's going to be like blowing your mind it's going to be like what no I can't do that you kidding me that's too late shadow side crap you know, marry nobody but there's victory coming possibly with Aries Leo Sagittarian energy definitely stepping into your heart space perhaps someone's gonna have to make a head over heart decision or in this case a heart over head decision but it's gonna cause an absolute battle within because you're still healing you're healing from something that really hurt you we got the four of swords here this is this comes after the three of swords which is being stabbed in the heart all that pain there's your guys' energy coming out, going into hangman mode to see what to do about this scenario. Playing the waiting game, really and truly in hangman mode, trying to gain clarity. Things are looking up, though. Things are looking up. Maybe you're starting to feel a little better, starting to feel like you can create new things, create new magic in your life. Moving away from rough time to calm times. That's beautiful. Yeah, after feeling left out in the cold. Holding the money bag while well, the money bag is empty, but there's an offer coming in because you guys are going to be buckling down and getting this work done. And that can't happen unless an offer comes in. Either that or you're focusing majorly on your money and building your pentacles while the divine works in the background on whatever situation ship this is about. Okay, let's get what's tying these two lumps together here. Well, we need balance. I'm not going to take all of these cards. So the need to balance and moder and moderation, okay, the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, wait for perfect timing. So waiting for perfect timing means divine timing, right guys? So this is all about the divine trying to bring something to fruition, to bring hope, happy times, make positive, optimistic, long-term plans around the right path. But you're being too frivolous or too cautious with your money. Make good business decisions. Giving to those less fortunate. I think you guys want to share the wealth you've come to, to have and perceive with other people. Listen to your intuition. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. Make sure you want it because we are in high state manifestation mode right now, my Virgo friends. I tell you, these cards are all half ass backwards maybe that's the way you feel life is right now it's all just half ass backwards you don't even know what to do or how to make sense of any of it all right advice from the angels please advice from the angels so we have two we have new psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way the world and yourself uh, the way you view the world and yourself allow your spiritual gifts to open through study prayer and meditation your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God. So if you're concerned about your children, God's got them. They're on their own soul trajectory path. If you've lost a child, my friends, to the other side, I'm telling you right now, they are, oh, they are there loving on you. 
They are there loving on you. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm getting from somebody, and this may only be for one or for two. Oh, okay, I have to stop. I'm getting for somebody that there's a white bird. Looks like a dove. Could be a cockatoo with orange and yellow on them. And this bird is... Well, I see it just sitting there. Its feathers are very well defined. It's like it's sitting there and all of a sudden it's just looking at you. And it's looking at you intently. If you see a white bird like this and you don't own one, that is your child. That is your child coming through to you, letting you know that they are there and they love you. White feathers, orange feathers even. The next time you see orange feathers, whether artificial or otherwise, yep. They want you to know that they are cared for by other loved ones. Oh, they're trying to bring you something. What are they trying to bring you? Something you're gonna be undecided about. Uh, Queen of Swords trying to find balance. They're going to bring help bring you balance. They are on the other side now, but they're going to try they're trying to help bring you balance so that you can move away from rough waters to calm waters. I'm getting also that someone might see a scales of justice uh golden or brass type Thing that looks like the scales of justice and it has a bird or a some sort of symbol on it that's gonna be very prominent for you also I think your child is working in the background to try and help bring justice to your life and your situation are we done with this now well for now all right, so there's a big old new Ace of Cups coming your way. It's a cup you can fill with whatever you desire and whatever you want. And there's challenging information that's going to come your way, my friends. Very challenging. Nine of Swords. Okay, I just got another thing. When you are in bed and you feel like there's a, a little move along the side of your face just like this or like a something's on your face or something like that, that's that's the person that you lost that's the child that you lost saying hello and i just thought if there's a pet that sleeps on you and their tail rubs in your face and it's starting to drive you a little bit crazy your child thinks that that's actually kind of funny <laughs> it makes them giggle maybe that's something your child used to do with you is run things along your skin to try and tickle you. It's a very happy outcome coming here in this challenging information that's going to leave you all up in your head. Sleepless nights, aggravation, worry, anxiety, stress, wheel of fortune spinning in your favor. We got it twice, my Virgo friends. I hope this resonates. Leave a message down below if it does. Blessings.